This lesson explains what relationship networking deep canvassing is. Essentially, this strategy is a way of influencing the election by using conversations with people you already know to influence their behavior around the election, either to get them to vote differently or just to get them to vote at all. These methods in relation to network deep canvassing are the same ones that are used in deep canvassing, which is known to be a very effective way of influencing people. It involves storytelling, it involves listening, it involves compassion, but instead of talking to strangers, you're talking to people you already know. What does that mean? That means that you don't have the nervousness of knocking on doors or calling people up or the anxiety of that, but you also have to control your expectations and you have to get hold of how you feel about the baggage you might have with them in order to make strategic choices that are going to influence them. Now, one of the good things about this is that you can use this method to catch up with people. You can create a process where we will describe where you catch up with people in your life, where you reconnect with people you like but haven't really gotten to know to create a conversational space where you use these methods. But you need to learn how to control yourself and how to make strategic choices as you are doing that, and we will give you guidance about that. The key trick to making this work is to be fueled by your passion about the election, whether it's saving democracy or defeating Donald Trump or fighting white supremacy or fighting misogyny, etc. You need to be fueled by that passion, but you need to make good choices about how much you bring that energy of that fuel, that urgency and that rhetoric into the conversation. As we will discuss, it's often not useful to have that directly in there. So you have to transform that energy into something different. With this method, you're using your status as a trusted messenger, which was, is likely to increase your influence over the person, but you need to use it strategically. So here's how these lessons will flow out. We're going to give you some initial guidance about how to look at your entire network and look at possible candidates for your targeting closer to the election. We're going to teach you how to use these methods, teach you what they are and how to use them, and maybe even how to practice on some people before you get down to a different look at who you really want to target in order to maximize your time spent doing this.